Hey guys, Rob here from McDojo Life. Today we're going to check out the laziest night drill I think I've ever witnessed. Let's check it out and let's break it down. avec l'inertie. Et rien qu'avec l'inertie, on s'aperçoit, malgré tout, malgré tout, ça finit toujours par passer un peu. Before we break down the actual technique here, let's just discuss the absurdity in which this scenario could possibly play out. It probably looks a little something like this. Excuse me, my good sir, you have dishonored milady, and I would like to engage with you a game of slicey McCutty stabs. Do you accept? Why, yes. Yes, I do. The only time I've ever seen something even remotely close to the scenario was in an old Paul Hogan movie. Now, I'm pretty sure you guys know Paul Hogan from Crocodile Dundee. He actually did a movie called Almost an Angel. It's like a little known movie that most people haven't seen. But there's like a scene in that movie where there's a guy being an asshole in a wheelchair to pretty much everyone around him. And to treat the guy like an equal, he sits in a chair and commences to punch that dude in the face because he was kind of asking for it. But other than that, the scenario itself seems quite ridiculous. From a technique perspective, chances are good that this scenario is never going to happen to you. One, I would be really creepy and weird for me to sit that way if I was ever speaking with another person in a chair. So, like, if anybody ever approached me and they tried to sit close to me in that manner, I'd be getting up and moving immediately before we ever even had to deal with the fact that we're both sitting down in a chair, knife fighting each other for some reason. Let's say, hypothetically, we are sitting in that weird awkward way and all of a sudden a knife comes out i would imagine the first thing that you would probably want to practice doing is getting up and getting away and creating distance as a matter of fact even using that chair to create space and distance would probably be better than just sitting in it and putting your hands and arms in the way to get cut one thing that they're doing that actually makes sense to me is they're doing something that would be referred to in filipino martial arts as defanging the snake which is whatever weapon hand is coming at you, they're actually trying to cut the weapon hand, which would immobilize the hand a little bit and give you a better chance of them being not as active with that hand or even possibly disarming them because they can no longer hold the weapon. They're also going back and forth between a high cover and an inside parry. Those things might go by different names depending on whatever martial art that you do, but each one of those in that scenario isn't actually dealing with the weapon hand. It's just kind of taking the cut, not necessarily something that I would think would be suggested. Although, if you're in a knife fight, chances are good you and the other person are probably getting cut. It's gonna happen. One thing I will say here, though, is whenever we look at a drill that is outside of our particular martial art, it might look weird to us. I don't know what the instruction was here. I don't know what the purpose is here. I just don't see it myself from the outside looking in, and it doesn't make a lot of sense to sit in a chair and slash at each other, but maybe there's a purpose. Kind of like if we looked at somebody doing a jiu-jitsu shrimping drill, and they were just ebbing up and down the floor. As they're doing that hip escape, what we're going to notice is if we've trained that before, we'll know what that's for, and we'll understand the meaning behind the drill. But if you've never done it before, it might be very confusing to you. As always, I look forward to reading your comments in the comment section below. If you ever want to discuss any of the things that are going on in any of the videos that I post and dissect, maybe you agree with me, maybe you don't. I go live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 9 a.m. Eastern Time on my Instagram channel. You're more than welcome to join. I allow absolutely anybody to join that live, and I'm usually on there for a few hours. And I look forward to seeing you on there so we can have open dialogue and conversation about martial arts technique or anything you really want to talk about. Thank you all for the likes, comments, shares, subscriptions, and all that other crap people on YouTube tell you to do. Keep the martial arts legit.